Hello everyone, welcome to Rockstar Gaming. My name is Eric. And I'm Jake. And today we're going to be opening up a rather big boy here, rather big box. Uh, this is not mine, but... Uh, mine. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so Jake, without any warning, uh, anything like that, uh, received his Galactus. So we're going to move this. I uh, hope to God the audio stuck. And, um, yeah, let's get started with this one. So, yes, this is the Galactus the Devourer miniature uh, from the Marvel Zombie Simon campaign. Um this is a this is a big boy miniature, uh, two feet tall. Um, yeah, yeah. Anything you want to say about it? Uh, the box weighs in uh, right around seventeen and a half pounds, so it's a miniature, all right. It's miniature, miniature Here. horse, <laughs> miniature horse. If you want to open up your box, I'm not going to deprive you. So, but yes, yeah, so this uh, miniature. We'll, uh, it was an optional. It was an optional buy throughout the whole thing. There was actually a pledge level dedicated, um, two different pledge levels dedicated to getting this uh, particular miniature. One was the hungry pledge, and then the other one was the no one knows. Um, it was the uh, basically the all in that also included the uh, that also included Galactus, whereas the original one was just I think the base game with the Galactus. Yes. Um, so yeah, that is that. So what we'll do is, let's see, we will take out this, what everyone wants to see, the nice foam block. <laughs> that's, that's high quality foam right there. It's nice and dense. It, it, and even then, like I will say, like it was actually pushing up on the box. So if there were two and what they could make sure nothing on the top messed up. So. Let's go ahead and move it so everyone can see on the top cam kind of what the inside looks like there. Without the nice foam block. Without the nice foam block. So that is how it looks there. We are going to keep moving it back and forth a little bit. So you can see both heads are here. I'm really hoping I didn't lose the uh, audio. And then the arms are here. And then Galactus itself is in there. So go ahead and pull that down. Alrighty. And then the arms, there's nothing to pop the arms and stuff, so we'll go ahead and take those out. Now Jake made a comment one day when he bought this, I think asking me when I was going to paint it for him. <laughs> and I said, nope. I don't, you know, I wouldn't feel right about accidentally messing up a miniature that I think has a uh, three digits at its cost. So... I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the pieces now. I believe one of the more recent updates on Simon's web, uh, the Kickstarter page for this, they um, arm wrestle. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, um, they did talk about uh, the proper way to insert the pegs and everything for this to build the actual miniature. Um, because I know a lot of people online were having issues with having to like sand, sand down parts and whatnot. So Seaway actually, or Seaway, uh, Simon actually put in, um, uh, instructions on, they're not in here, but they actually posted, I believe, instructions uh, on. An update yeah. with it. So that way you could, um, line the head up and the arms up correctly when you are transitioning between living and zombie mode. So there's his zombie arm right there. And there is actually... Even even right here, like like the arm uh, folds, like where the veins are and stuff like that. There's actually quite a bit of detail in this miniature. Um, Someone didn't wash under their fingernails. No, they did not, and it actually shows on here. Actually, yeah, because you can see the fingernail, and you can almost see like there's like junk underneath of it. That is, like, I want to paint it now, but I know I'm not good enough. <laughs> That's the problem. Well, by the time you finish all the other Marvel zombies, they'll have improved, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. If you want to hold up the other, so here's the living hand. There you go. Look at there. Yeah. Clenching his fist, almost getting ready to devour. So, and we'll compare once we get to some other stuff. We'll compare how that how a miniature looks just even to the hand. But we'll go ahead and why am I getting all those zombie parts? <laughs> go ahead and take a look at his heads here. 
Alright. You know what they say, two heads are better than one. Yeah, and he's got two of them. So there are the heads right there. Let's take a look at some of that detail on there on this not at all Skeletor face. Uh, that is pretty cool. Very nice looking. Let's take a look at the back side there. You can tell there's some damage there to that. I don't know if that's to help it to fit better in the, sl in the on the body, but there's that one right there. And then there's the living. Yeah. Living head. I'll we'll do a side by side comparison. Living and dead. Right there. So very nice. And now, oh yeah, that just leans over. We'll get to the main body. Now, real quick, I'm gonna lift it back up over for a second. Because just so you see it in there, is that right here, you do have a um, gameplay box. Yeah, the gameplay box. That is where your Silver Surfer is gonna be, that is where your other components are gonna be. Um, and I will place that over here for now. And then... This thing is massive. I got it. Alright. That is... That is the size of Galactus right there. It I don't even know if it's going to stay in the shot completely. So, we are trying to figure out logistically when we eventually do a gameplay of this. I'm trying to remember where the camera was for a second. When we actually do a gameplay of this is how to actually get this on the table <laughs> and be able to be still be see uh, everything. So, where's the bottom of the bag? Uh, the tape's over here in the front. Okay. So, oh. the knife over there if you just want to cut it. But ah, there we go. Right. Ooh, that new plastic smell. Yes, this is very, very smooth looking. So, definitely need some airbrushing for this. So, oh, there's another piece right here. Let's get that out of there. Just to help with the uh, yeah. shipping. Another high quality foam. Oh, yeah. High quality foam. Not not as uh, dense, but nope. All right. Job. So this is Galactus right here. So uh, let's go ahead. There's the top view of him. Yeah. Right there, and then my spinny thing would not fit this. No, we would need a very large mm -hmm. spinny, very large spinny thing. Sorry for the audio. You're not here for the auto, you're here to see Galactus. Yes. Ooh. Alright, so we uh, do the zombie first, or...? It's your your toy, how do you want to display him? Uh, well, we've been doing zombie first so far. Alright, there you go. We'll, uh... Not gonna pop it in all the way, but it's stable. Alright, then. This one, the head is supposed to be tilted a little bit. So. That's what they said. It's supposed to kind of go. That's actually right there. Like that. Yeah. There he is. There he is. In his undead glory. Right, well, bring it back a little bit, but hold it up so you can kind of see the whole thing. There. There is Galactus the Devourer. He's ready to eat your brains. He is hungry. So. That is awesome. I, my bank account is fine with not having this. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that it's in my house right now is like, I just want it to stay there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. 
There you go. And now... Alright. Ta-da. So there he is now in his living glory. All ready to... All ready to, to still eat you. Just in a different way. I mean, this is a impressive miniature for sure. This is. Um, I like the detail on this thing is amazing. I like just the work they put into it. The base, I will say down here, I I, I know from just grabbing it like this, but like this part down here is all hollow. Can't get it on the screen yet. I don't want to lift up your stuff, but you can see it's hollow, so it's not like one whole. Thick piece in here. Yeah. Um, these pieces and this seem a little bit more sturdy, so I don't know if they are. I'm sure they're hollow in a way, but I'm pretty sure most of it's probably hollow. I've got doubt this is like pure Solid. thing of plastic, but um, you can definitely tell it's a little bit more, a little thicker, a little denser than the bottom piece um, there, but the weight is distributed in a way where it's not really affecting it. So, um, yeah, overall, this looks. Really cool. Amazing. I like this a lot. I'm scared to paint it. Mm, so, no rush. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. You gotta get the rest of the pledge, level, pledge in. Let's see. You gotta get one of these to cover as much as you can. That'd be a lot of purple. <laughs> so. Um, Alright, let's set him uh, over on the chair. So you can open up the uh, pad on the chair here. Let's do that. And then we'll move our uh, co host over. And, and that's him in an office chair. Just to give you a standard reference. Yep. Yeah, that is. Uh... I'm Eric. I'm Jake. And I'm Galactus. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab. Now, for the rest of the uh, coolness, uh, this was uh, exclusive to. Here, so if you wanted the surfer and his zombie and living form, this is uh, how you can get it. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't have regular Marvel zombies, as you know. James and I have been going through Heroes Resistance just to give you an idea of how big this box is. This is it compared to Heroes Resistance and regular Marvel. Uh, Marvel Zombies Heroes Resistance is smaller still than the regular box. Marvel Zombies. It's going to be the same size if you have one. I don't really want to pull one off the shelf at the moment, but um, it's going to be about that one's going to be about the same size as uh, a zombie side box, core box. So um, this is actually the same size as a Marvel United box. So you can definitely tell that Galactus the Devourer is slightly smaller than the other boxes. So go ahead and look at the back here so we'll actually look at the front there first Galactus the Devourer the surfer and then there is the back with the various components so flavor text wise a streak of silver crosses the sky heralding the coming of the Devourer of Worlds with the spread of the zombie infection it could be said that Earth is already devouring itself but the arrival of Galactus and the Silver Surfer is a threat that demands everybody's full attention the time has come to devour or be devoured marvel zombies the galactus the devourer set comes with one superhero piece one zombie hero piece two id cards 72 mini cards six tokens one galactus dashboard one rule book it is um you have to be 14 to be eaten by galactus or to eat galactus one of the two uh i think in the uh the original comic they actually managed to eat galactus they did and then they, they got, got the, the power, power of cosmic, cosmic. So, yeah, so that's going to be uh, an expansion for Marvel Zombies in either zombie mode or hero mode. Players will face the biggest challenge, stopping Galactus from devouring the Earth, whether facing him alive or as a zombie. The gargantuan Galactus is aided by his powerful Herald, the Silver Surfer, and driven by a hunger of cosmic proportions. Taking on Galactus will be a challenge at an unprecedented scale. I'll let you open your, your game there. So... Um, so yes, I just, I decided not to get Galactus, uh, 
partially because I was already spending way too much money on this game. And uh, two, I already knew he was getting it, so it didn't make much sense for both of us to have a Copy. giant statue that our uh, wives would be upset at us for having. So um, now I am getting the Galactus for Marvel United, so... Um, as am I. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box right here and get her open. Now, I feel like the box on this is a little bit flimsy. Um, maybe. Slightly. Maybe just how it's... Maybe it's just the size. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it is not your standard size box. Well, even yeah. right here, as I have trouble opening it, it's like tucked right here. So it's like a weird tuck box, but not a tuck box. So, alright, so there it is. That right there. And then this is, I'm assuming. So, just to note, we did open this up, and for some reason, the dashboard and the rule book were stuck together, which is weird because there should be nothing on either surface that is stuck so that is a little bit unfortunate but uh anyway so we got the dashboard here for galactus and that is a little bit of what it looks like right there on the living side every different spots with different health on it so we'll go through the rule book at some point and see what that looks like there is his not living side his undead side different um so you can see there's different spots for like the head, right arm, chest, left arm, and the engine on there. And yep, same thing on the back. And then a different track on the bottom for Galactus there. And then you've got your rule book with different, I'll hand that over to you so you can, different things on here so the table of contents so all the stuff you get including the soul surfer um they do mention it in here the giant galactus because this is part of it um here's all the zombie mode content the hero mode content i'm assuming all the um regular stuff five destroyed tokens and an introduction which we've kind of already read once so we're not going to do it again here is how to set up Galactus and Galactus zones. So it looks like, um, I'm assuming you can get the players are going to be able to move across the Galactus itself. Um, the giant Galactus game piece creates an extension of the game board. The zones of its own can be occupied by swapping out the head and right arm. Galactus can be configured into his living and zombie version. The living version of Galactus has three different zones, base, engine, and hand, while the zombie version, hero mode, has only two, base and engine. So that's pretty cool. There. Yep. I don't know if you can see it there, but that's a... That's the uh, miniature on in the hand of the Galactus. We heard you like miniatures. So we're going to take a miniature and put it on your miniature. <laughs> so... Nice. All right. So yeah. So Galactus ex itself is going to have different zones, and um, yeah. So we're going to go. We'll go through these kind of as an explanation later on when we actually play through this mode. But as you can see from the rule book, you are interacting with the Galactus on the zones itself. Um, different things about his phase. Um, they kind of put both. Um, uh, both the living and undead versions of the cards kind of talk about the same thing a little bit at like the same time instead of having as two separate sides. Um, enter the surfer. And then back here we've got the specific missions. So zombie, uh, MZ1, Hunger versus Hunger. And see here's the slight issue for the channel right here is that it's using these specific uh, zones mm -hmm. with these uh, uh, tile placements and everything here. So Jake and I did talk about it. What we're probably going to do is do two uh, videos soon. Uh, probably film them. Uh, this is Friday the 30th as I'm talking right now. Um, so we'll probably film next week um, a uh, gameplay using Heroes Resistance, kind of just showing off Surfer a little bit, both as is 
Um, one game where we're using him in the living mode, and then another game to see if we can have him as um, uh, as a as a zombie on the field, uh, mixing him in with uh, Captain America, Iron Man, um, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor Strange. Thank you. Um, I've only played like five games of that. <laughs> you think I would know? And they all show up. You think I would know which characters? Um, but we're going to have to wait, unfortunately, because both Jake and I did one wave shipping. So we're not probably going to get actual Marvel Zombies, even though it is in the stores right now. Probably not actually going to get Marvel Zombies until October, November, I'm assuming. Hopefully sooner than October. Uh, but they haven't shipped, they haven't put them on the boat yet. So we'll see. Um, it is June. So we'll, we'll see about that. My estimate's like late fall. Um, anyway, so there is that mission right there, and then MH2 final course. So, and this uses a weird combination of four tiles on that side, four tiles on this side with Galactus, um, in, the Galactus in the middle. So, and there is his rules summary. So, that is the manual for. Galactus, and we'll show off the miniatures last because I like to keep people waiting, even though we showed that miniature off first. That would have been mean. <laughs> Show that off last. All right, any specific cards you want to take a look at? Um, we have a couple different uh, card types, obviously, because there is the Silver Surfer hero mm -hmm. uh, living and also um, undead. Alright, so right here he just get, handed me the Silver Surfer action card. There is what the card back looks like. And then an out of context um, card here. The Silver Surfer moves two zones toward the closest zombie hero. So cosmic surfing right there. It's an example of what the cards look like on the other side. And then, let's see, power cosmic cards for the undead side. And then, example of that, cosmic blast. Discard this card before attacking to gain plus three dice results of one on this roll. Don't increase your hunger. So there is that. And then, let's see here. Keep everything slightly together. Lost Tech. That's the Lost Tech is the opposite side of Power Cosmic, right? I believe this so. This is the living side, I believe. Yep. So Which there is know. Lost Tech right here. We'll get the Ultimate Nullifier. Ultimate Nullifier. Discard this card to eliminate all walkers, runners, and brutes within range one or on the force field. Then all superheroes within range one gain two stars, including you sure what that is referring once we to. get our x-men uh resistance well it's the same thing on here so if they're referring to power then that's probably what it is it's probably what they're yeah so because heroes resistance i believe has the same thing as x-men resistance so that should be fine there so then going back to the surfer surfer actions here and then um put that over there for a second and then Scent of Flesh, the Silver Surfer moves two zones toward the closest bystander. If there are no revealed bystanders, he moves towards the closest superhero instead. So there is that one. There, and then I have the Zombie Galactus. The Zombie Galactus cards and his regular cards. Those are right, um, his master plan. Gotcha. Yeah. They have similar. And is ravenous right there. So there's the Galactus action cards here. And then that one just says move. Oh, attack. Uh, activate mission effect B. See the mission's Galactus rules. So very mysterious. And then dun dun dun. And we'll do his ravenous cards. So there's his ravenous cards. And then 
Wrath. When this card is revealed, spawn three walkers on each active spawn point at the end of each player phase in which no Galactus part or the force field was attacked. Increase Galactus hunger by one. This card, this card, if the head is destroyed. So you can rip off his head. It'll appear that way. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Uh, we'll do these Galactus cards. So there's the Galactus <clears throat> actions. And let's just, we'll do larger plans. Each zombie hero may suffer one wound, increase Galactus's planning track by one for each zombie hero who doesn't suffer a wound. So there's an example of that card. Or what those cards look like right there. And then, ah. and then finally his master plans. Not finally, we still have more to do, but is Master Plan cards and Cosmic Madness. When the card is revealed, spawn three troopers on each active spawn. Zombie heroes can only have one trait card instead of two on their dashboards and discard this card if the head um, is destroyed. So, similar looking card design to the other one we looked at. And then, these are those uh, destroy tokens, right? Yep. Yeah. Destroy. Destroy. And then do you want to show off Surfer there? I'll show off the Zombie Surfer this time. Alright. So here he is, kind of... So there is the Zombie Surfer, not... Uh, not Silver, like the actual, like the... Uh, United. Yes, thank you. I don't know where my brain is this morning. It's too early. Usually we're filming these things at like 10, 11 o'clock at night, and this is... A.M. What, what time is it? 10.42 a.m. A.m. So, so just for reference, when he had the, uh, the zombie surfer, there is the card for the zombie surfer right there. So Cosmic Board giving you is a range attack with two dice with three each. Um, yeah, so, that is pretty awesome. Five health for him there. You know, show the other card, or the other miniature. So here he is, and it would have been really cool if they had done the same silver treatment for United on this. Um, yeah. But, you know. It would have been cool. My only issue with the, with the, flame effects and everything again as somebody who would like to paint all this stuff doesn't have time um it makes me not want to paint the figure because i don't want to those are my kids playing minecraft in the other room getting too excited um it, the the silver bits and like the flame effects and everything just make me not want to attempt to attempt it because i in some case especially the flame ones look so good that i don't want oh. to mess it up Especially because, like, I can do silver all day long. Fire, I can't do. Water, I'm okay on. Or, like, ice. Because I'm looking at my water elemental that I painted up there, but my fire elemental looks terrible. Anyway, there is zombie... Oh, yeah, that is a symbol for power. Oh. Right there. All right, so not zombie. Regular silver surfer is right here. You might see up here in a game coming up. Yeah, so we're going to, like I said, definitely do a game where one of us is controlling Silver Surfer, and then we'll throw in Zombie Silver Surfer into that. Um, like I said, do one game where we're playing as him living, and then one game where he is not living. This one was interesting because of the fact it says gain one toughness for each bystander he has devoured to a maximum of three. So um, he starts out with four health and then go all the way down to seven health, or all the way up to seven health. Um, if he manages to devour any bystanders, uh, I know in the games that James and I have been playing, we've been actually pretty good about, I don't think the zombies have eaten the bystanders yet. That might change later on. And I don't know, it's going to be really difficult with, in Heroes Resistance, because if for some reason in that, playing with the Silver Surfer with that one, if, um... He gets to the point where he has seven health. The only one I think that can take him down on a lucky set of rolls is Hulk. Because he'd have to be fully powered and then cash in all four of his power to maybe throw seven dice. 
and hope that he hits on all seven. So, uh, and then finally, the heroic Silver Surfer attack on the zone made at range one or more suffer negative one to dice results. So you basically have to try to hit him at me uh, melee. So that means my favorite character from Heroes Distance Wasp will be at a disadvantage. So, all right, I think that's everything. That is everything. That is everything. From this box. From this box, yes. So this is Galactus, the Devourer uh, expansion for Marvel. You know, I was gonna say Marvel United for Marvel Zombies. Um, like it's I said, on the side game. It's on the side game. Yep, that says it right there. Um, like I said, we will probably not do another uh, video with Galactus eating stuff um, until we get the rest of the stuff and play a few regular games. Exactly. So it'll probably be toward the. End of the year. End of the year by the time we do that. Um, he may or may not show up on the shelf uh, just to watch some things at some point. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, so um, he'll be looking over us the entire time playing as we get through those missions. Um, but, yeah, so it'll be fun. Uh, like I said, I cannot wait to um, play through this. Um, like I said, we will incorporate the surfer... Um, like playing as the surfer uh, into a couple of games um, here soon. Uh, probably film those again, like I said, next week. Um, but yeah, that is going to be that for this unboxing. So if you enjoyed this unboxing, you'd like to see more unboxings or other things from the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, do all the things, hit the bell that he's going to tell you to hit in a minute, and, and then and ring the bell so you know when we get more stuff in. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and like I said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Stay hungry. <laughs> nom, nom, nom.